Hey everyone, welcome back, and we're here with our Khaji in his stupid helmet, and we're in the middle of Dawnstar right now, in the middle of a blizzard, just sort of, I don't know what we're doing right now, but we're just kind of wandering around here and seeing what kind of trouble we can cause. So currently, I am level 11, and we haven't really been doing any of the main storyline quests in case you're new, just sort of wandering around and causing some purified chaos. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and see what we have to do for our miscellaneous quests. Oh, that's right. We have a Daedric quest available to do. But I think I'm going to hold off on that one because I'm not quite ready to fight off a bunch of master vampires. I could try to do these, but I fear that they might be too high a level. But let's give it a shot anyways and see what we can do. So... Quite a bit of wandering is going to have to be done. I have a custom destination for the Steedstone, it looks like. I forgot about that. But let's see where the closest one is. Let's, let's try to do the Guardian Bear first and see if we can kill it. Now, if you remember, there was a bear, roughly a few episodes that I encountered, that um, completely knocked my teeth in and... Um, I had to go get a lot of help to kill. And by help, I mean leading him into an Imperial Legion camp and having them do all the work. So, let's go find out if this quest will be easy or difficult for me to accomplish. So, I want to see if I can get the drop on him by taking a non-conventional path. That's not gonna happen. Okay, so he does a lot of damage. But I'm also a little bit more clever. And I'm not super clever actually. So we're gonna go ahead and upgrade our health and then go to archery. Hmm. Nothing we can do in there. Um, I'm not wearing a pure light armor set, so there's no point in doing that. Um, let's save that perk. And let's burn this bear alive. Or, I guess it's more of a... I guess he's more of a, a ghost. So let's... Let's uh, further crispify his ghostly remains. So, that is not doing as much damage as I wanted to. So we're going to try using this orcish sword. That uh, also steals health in the process. Which is doing a pretty good job, I'd say. Of keeping me semi-alive. This bear is extremely annoying, and I want him gone as fast as possible. So, let's go ahead here and eat um, as much food as I possibly can, because why not? And continue hitting this thing until it expires. There we go. What's next? Defeat the Guardian Mammoth. Well, the closest one we have is Bleakwood Basin. Bleakwind Basin. So let's fast travel down here and then make an absolute cannonball run away from here so the giants don't smash my um, poor little Khajiit body into the ground with complete ease. Wait a minute. I think up there is... Um, that, that moon one, that, um, 
that like gives you the the moon forge i don't remember what it's called though but that's kind of a cool area so we're gonna explore the plain biome of skyrim and uh Ah, my flames can't reach far enough, so those crabs are saved. For now. It's right over here. Still a pretty good distance away. Although, I might go and knock this bandit camp out just for the heck of it. So, it's all about the adventure, not the destination. So let's get some high ground and scope the area out and see what kind of bad guys we can get rid of. So already we have a bandit right there. That's now dead. Um, we have a bandit there, a bandit there, and a bandit there. None of them know my location quite yet. He's gonna move right down there again. He's gonna stay still. So let's go get rid of him. Look at that. Oh yes, that was a fantastic shot. Boom, another one bites the dust. This guy thinks he can do something about it, but boy is he wrong. Ah, perfection. Four arrows, four kills, just as I like it. And those were all with iron arrows, too. That was pretty good. Look at him. Ooh, that must have been a pretty painful shot. I'm gonna steal his shoes. Um, not because, like, I planned to or anything, but because I accidentally clicked and I had to make it seem like it was planned, so. There we go. Elven boots. Those are worth something. We have some more corpses over here. I keep taking people's boots. Um, I don't think there's any other um, things to loot around here. So, it might be within my best interest to go exploring down into this um, halted stream camp. So... I do remember there being a pretty nasty bandit down here from previous playthroughs. He's right there. Maybe that's a she. <gasps> no, y'all gotta be kidding me. Oh, it's an outlaw. They've been hunting mammoths. That's sad. Those poor giants, they keep losing their pets or companions. Oh, wait. Shh. Hold on. Pop. Okay, so things have clearly gotten out of hand. So, I believe that it is time to kill. Um, hmm. I'll take one of those and two of those and keep cutting you until you stop. As for you, ooh, you have an enchanted weapon. Why the hell are you taking that? Um, 
All right. So that happened. Um, do you guys remember the Bard College quest line? Like how you uh you can join the Bard's College? Oh, you've got to be kidding me! There it is. I joked about this last episode talking with the Beacon, but um, apparently it already is happening. Stupid Daedra. I always thought it was level 30 that the Daedric artifacts started appearing. Not, um... Not now. Because... The, uh, the Daedric artifact, the Dawnbreaker, that you get from this quest... Is really, 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 really good for clearing out uh, Draugr temples. Or, um, Nordic temples, or Nordic ruins, or whatever you want to call them. But, um, the zombies, basically. Ah, uh, whoops. But, uh, yeah. It does a really good job of clearing those out, because when one dies, it explodes in a fiery death, and causes a chain reaction of death among the drow. Is it drow or draugr? Because I've heard it said both ways. Granted, Drow was only said by one person that I used to work with at that fast food place I talked about because we were like talking about Skyrim in our free time and he um he said Drow and I was like, isn't it Draugr? And he's like, no, it's Drow because ancient Nordic dialect and whatnot. So, yeah, um, r slash I am very smart. This is a mammoth graveyard that I did not know existed. This is really cool. Depressing, but really cool. Okay. There he is. He totally was there before and didn't just now spawn him. Do poisons work on ghosts? Okay, he is gonna get really pissed off in a couple seconds here. But let's just keep on knocking down these uh these arrows here. Cause I got a lot of iron arrows and I gotta just get rid of as many as I possibly can into this poor, 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 poor mammoth. Ugh, I don't like this. Look at him, he's in great pain. Ugh. Oh, you poor thing. Uh, may your spirit finally rest, I guess. There's a, a mammoth in, um, in the rift and hold that died in the, uh, the boiling water. Cicero. And you can find his, um, his guardian giant mourning is lost, and it, it's kind of depressing. But, um, thought I'd bring that up and, uh, totally ruin the mood there. But to immediately lighten the mood, it's Cicero time! Cicero, 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 Cicero. Well, not her. Her corpse. <laughs> She's quite dead. 
I'm taking mother to a new home, a new crypt, but... Ah! Wagon wheel! Damn this wagon wheel! It broke. Don't you see? <laughs> he scares me so much. I wish I could kill you right here and right now, buddy. Um, crime. Good. Most of it zero. I only stolen one item, but I've assaulted eight people. So, uh, my bad, I guess. Let's see, quests, general. I want to go into uh, system, settings, audio, voice, effects. Put that right there. Music, just down a little bit. And footsteps, also a lot higher, too. There we go. That'll really help in the uh, audio process because I like the, the character voices as something to listen to in the background. But, um, I don't know. So, Cicero probably just got a lot louder for you there, and I'm sorry about that, but uh, from here on out, it'll be a stable speaking environment. Cicero, fella? Huh. Tell me something I don't know. Crazy. Why can't you just leave us alone? Have you seen the man? He's completely out of his head. A jester here in Skyrim? Ain't been a merry man in these parts for a hundred years. And he's transporting some giant box. Says it's a coffin, and he's going to bury his mother. Mother, my eye. He could have anything in there. War contraband, weapons, skooma. No way I'm getting involved in any of that. What? And just who and So the reason why I'm choosing this one here is because I know that if you lie to the guard if you lie to the guard and um tell him that Cicero attacked a, a traveler, Cicero will come back and burn the farm down. So I wanna see what happens if you uh you get him to help. I'm sorry for my unneighborly reaction. So, be sure to tell him I'll be down to help soon. Because I know for a fact Cicero kills these people if you uh, um, lie to the guards. But if you uh, don't lie to the guards, I want to see what happens. Um, not that Cicero is a good person or anything, because if you've done the Dark Brotherhood quest line, uh, this fellow uh, returns. But more, even more, my mother thanks you. Here, here for your troubles, shiny, clinky gold. A few coins for your kind deed, and thank you, thank you again. <laughs> shiny, clinky gold. All right, fine. Ooh, a 400 gold. Not bad at all. This is a really cool area on the cusp of the plains biome and the frost biome. So, uh, <sighs> nothing like a random encounter to spice things up a bit. And that gold hat, or that wolf had gold on him. Um, 
All right, cool, I guess. I don't know why a wolf would need to have gold on him, but he did. I want to go. We're going to We're going to go pull um a Khajiit 9000 on this uh this giant camp over here. And we're going to go loot that chest up there. But carefully. Because we want to keep a distance not to spook the mammoths. Or make the giant mad. But we also want the treasure. So, because the treasure is what we come for. Okay, this one's export, so we got to be careful. Almost. Oh. Mm. Right there. There we go. I don't know why I just grabbed that, but I just did. Oh, snap, my dude. Look at that. This has been the best of chests I think one could ever ask for. Let's go put that stupid shield away, because I do not use shields. Shields are for uh, people who use shields. So, yeah. Let's get out of here. Bye, thanks for your stuff. How far away is, um, oh boy, that is a long, long walk. Um, we're gonna go to Winterhold and, uh, do it that way instead. Because, um, I do not want to walk that far. So, let's, uh, hire a carriage. Need a ride? Where do you want to go? I want to go to your mom's house. I don't know why I said that. I guess my uh, my childhood middle school humor never died out in me. So, because it's Skyrim. <sighs> I can't believe I just said that. Like, as the words, like, escape my mouth, I was like, why are you saying this? No. <laughs> like, <laughs> so it's one of those things where, like, <laughs> I'm trying really hard not to laugh right now, but I just want to laugh at my pure cringe. But, you know. This is such a cool area. And too bad it's not screenshot worthy. Oh, no. I'm gonna die. Um... That's what I thought. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to die. If I engage him. He keeps missing for some reason. I don't know why. But I'm not going to stand around and ask questions. Yep. Uh, it's just what I thought. He, uh, he can hurt me. So. Um was an interesting hypothesis, but I think that I will pass on this test and its continued um, engagement. Yeah, I'm gonna die if I keep this up. But because I'm as stubborn as a mule, I gotta do it. Ok, 
Okay, wow, I actually killed it. Um, I thought I was going to die 100% there, and I was doing sort of a uh, cat's last stand kind of thing, you know. I'm not going to back down from another cat, are you kidding me? I mean, me backing down from, from like another cat is like um, a real big, kind of like, you know, a big no-no in the cat world. So, I got to show that cat who's boss. And that's why I didn't back down. Not because I'm a complete idiot or anything like that. <sighs> um, oh, shoot. I hate those things so much. How close are we? Almost there. And we have uh, ice wraiths in, the, in between me and where I need to go. Great. That's, that's just what I need. Um, let's see. Okay, it's on the opposite side of that cliff where the ice, ice wreaths are. So, and there's three of them. That's fantastic. Can I maybe go around? Because ice wraiths are like one of the worst things for a low level to go up against. Okay, I can't do my mountain climbing thing. Because it, this is like an actual cliff with... Like, a, it's like um Like an erosion cliff. It isn't... And I'm stuck. Oh god, I'm stuck. Okay, there we go. There we go. So, this means... That I might have to um, specialize in some destruction magic here. And then. Oh, wait, wait, what am I thinking? The Shadow Stone. Um, what's the. Uh, hold on. Controls. Z. Or Z. Or whatever you want to call it. <sighs> Got my thumb ready to go. Okay. We're invisible. We're going good. This is turning out really well. Cool. That may have been the best, uh random encounter that I had last episode. The sh <gasps> Ooh, big boy scared me. Okay, apparently I'm like right on top of it, so I gotta go down the hill. Oh, he's down there. I can totally snipe him. Time to do uh, some straight up MLG Skyrim moves. Just stay where you are. Okay, he doesn't like being shot at when he can't do anything. So, I mean, that's a really weird concept. I don't know why anyone would not want to be shot. So... Where'd he go? Oh, I went too far down. Great. <sighs> I'm like slowly slipping. Oh, crap. All right. Let's go. Holy crap, the claws. Wow, um, I forgot all about the fact that claws are ridiculously overpowered. So... We got claws and we got fire. What else could someone need? 
All right. So we have the Nordic spirit animal quest line complete. Which is kind of cool because um, that was a couple episodes ago. And, uh, you know, getting it done now is pretty nice. So. Froggy, 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 froggy. I don't know. One challenge remains. You son of a and defeat the troll champion. Here's where you need to go. <sighs> I despise you and everything you stand for. Okay, let's go. Do you remember when Spirit Wind Quests only had one part of them? Pelagia Farm remembers. Uh, okay, let's go. Maybe if I actually wore armor, I would last a little longer. But, you know, that's not going to happen anytime soon. <sighs> well, these guys have that crazy rat dude living in their basement. It's just so just not okay that I can just slap a wolf and just end him like on the bright side though I can immediately end any bar fight that I start so that's always good uh, I really want to go explore that cave there but I got things I gotta do oh come on okay that's not working And now I'm a vampire. Okay. Cool. That's uh, exactly what I wanted to be, guys. <sighs> you bastards. Hmm. Alright. This isn't good. Um. Hmm. Yeah, you didn't see that one coming, did ya? Am I still sick with vampires? Like, does it cure disease? Like, does that do it? Yeah, seems like it did. Cool. Ugh. Let's go see what this stone is up here. It can't be better than the shadow stone, but let's find out. <gasps> um, you're a mage, so... Yes, I see that. Shh. It's all good, don't worry. I'll make it quick. Uh, perhaps. 
Hey, well, you're not an apprentice. Are you kidding? Two skeletons? That's a high level spell there. Um, and just for proof that uh, having. Actually, I can't because I have the ritual stone. Oh. That makes sense. Okay, never mind. All right, let's go. You have got to be kidding me. That's not a ghost. Is a very pissed off troll. Right there. Yep, see ya, bye. It was a uh, dandy meeting you, but um, I got places to be. Okay, so trolls, um, okay, cool, I have one final kind of, um, okay, I have a level up ready so I can, wow, okay, that's a no, and it just audio saved right there. Cool, good to know I'm gonna die. I am so gonna die, holy crap. Burn! Burn, I tell you! Oh, well, I actually thought I was going to die right there. Um, because that, uh, that troll does not hold back. <laughs> they have little playthings. That's kind of funny. Ah, uh, any bandit's a good, or the only good bandit is a dead bandit. There we go. I got it right. Especially after you read a uh, Sapphire story. Or not read, hear about it. I mean... You know. Oh, wrong button. There. The Guardian Troll's dead. What's next, Kane? Let's hear it. Then you finally know what it means to be a true hunter in the Nord way. For this, you have earned the blessing of kind and can count me as a friend. Okay. Um. Where's that? Was it token of kind or kind's token? Oh, okay. Fair enough. What other necklace? What other necklace did I have on at the time? Um, I don't think I had anything important. Okay. 
That was a letdown. That was a huge letdown. I can't believe that I just did that for a stupid token. <sighs> you jerk. All right, well, um, I need to get a good screenshot for this episode. So, because uh, screenshots are what make the, uh, the world go around. All right. Well, thank you for watching. I really appreciate that you stuck around to this long. It really means a lot to me that you decided to not only watch me basically screw around in Skyrim for a little bit while whispering into a microphone in front of me, but that you were willing to watch it for 41 minutes. So that either means that I'm doing something right or you fell asleep due to me being so boring. So either way, <laughs> thank you for watching. Um, if you truly and honestly did enjoy this video, consider leaving a like, commenting, let me know how I did, or even if you haven't already subscribed. If you're a frequent viewer, as a reminder, I do have a Tingles account, so you can watch all my content on demand on Tingles. Which, on Tingles, you can also, if you would, like to basically send me a tip, which is kind of just, you know, like an in-app purchase, one, you know, a one-time thing. Uh, it's kind of like a PayPal donation, you know, eh. I kind of like to think of it as buying me a coffee instead of, uh, you know, giving me a donation. It sounds, it sounds a little bit, uh, a little bit nicer. So, anyways, um, thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed this, consider watching, um, my previous, my other stuff, like Minecraft, Subnautica. And, uh, stay tuned for future projects. There might be a couple random videos thrown in between, such as Dawn of War. Um, a couple more episodes of Astroneer might be coming your way. Um, as well as some, where's, um, where's the, uh, there it is. As well as maybe some more No Man's Sky getting over it. I don't know. Let me know what you guys want to see. But in the meantime, I will be working on my future projects. One of them is turning out a little more difficult than I was hoping because one of the tools that I commonly used um, is no longer compatible so I need to find a workaround and until I can do that um, things might be a little delayed but I'll figure it out but until then thank you for watching I really appreciate your view holy crap It works. What are they doing? Cool. All right. Whoa. What? Uh, apparently, things got a little out of hand here, so let me uh, dispatch these guys with haste real fast. And then I'll end the video. Yes. <sighs> that was bizarre. Um, was that supposed to happen? Were they both supposed to like ambush me? Anyways, um, that happened. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, you know, you still are, or whatever. It doesn't really matter at this point, because I already technically ended the video, but that happened. So anyways, whatever. Um, but, yeah. Have a fantastic night.
Six, 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 six.